Does this weather remind you of your own demo data? Gray and a bit boring? And you want cool data sets, like this product collection, this nice tableware, magic the gathering cards, or just have all the infinity gauntlets you can have. Then let me show you our latest open source project, Generator 9000. Hey everyone, my name is Edward with VV8 and today I'll show you how to jumpstart your demo, proof of concept or project by creating interesting datasets. Using generative AI, we can create synthetic data tailored to our use case, which can be in e-commerce, healthcare or any other field. Generator 9000 gives us an interface to define prompts and data fields to generate multimodal data and also solves a big pain point of synthetic data generation, quality control. We can regenerate and manually modify the generated data objects until they reach our quality standards. And the best thing, it's integrated with VV8. You can directly ingest generated data objects into VV8, making it super easy to streamline your project. So let's have a closer look. Let's head over to gen9000.co to access the Generator 9000 app. To get started, we just need to set our OpenAI key and that's it. We can configure all the generating parameters on the left, from prompts to defining data fields. Let's use a template for fashion objects and generate a couple of items for our e-commerce use case. To do that, we click on generate and the fun begins. At the top, we get some stats about how many generations we did in the session, as well as how much money was approximately spent. Once a generation is complete, we can change individual fields and regenerate images until we are happy with the results. To save the objects, we click on the big green button. Now, to look at all the stuff we just spent money on, we go to the inspect menu to have a look at all our accomplishments. Once we have a couple of examples going, we can go ahead and export it as JSON file to further work with it based on our needs. But we can also use VV8 to directly ingest generated data objects to our vector database. For that, we connect to our VV8 instance by setting the URL and API key of our cluster. You can create a free sandbox cluster over at WCS. Visit the WCS console, log into your account, click on create new cluster, create your sandbox cluster, and then get a URL and API key from the console. Once connected, the templates are replaced with the actual collections within your cluster, so that you can simply add new data to existing collections or create new collections with customized data fields. In this case, I'm using my Magic the Gathering collection, and I want to add more cards to the dataset. So all I have to do now is select the collection and start generating. Now, when I press the save button, the object will be directly ingested into VV8. We can double check by checking the VV8 inspect menu that gives us a glimpse of the data within our database. Generator 9000 was built with a lot of love, but it is far from being perfect. That's why we need your help and feedback on our open source GitHub page. This GitHub page gives you all the information about how to deploy Generator 9000 on your own and how to contribute to the project. I hope you had fun watching this video, thank you so much and hope to see you next time.